Hi everybody, my name is Annie and this is Annie's Arachnids. Now in today's video, I will be giving you my top five beginners terrestrial tarantulas. But before I begin the video, please like the video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit the notification bell. Now, let's see what top five I chose So, at number five, we have the Lassadora Panabana, which some of us might know them as an LP. Now, these are very common in the hobby and they're very cheap as well. But if you're like me, um, when starting out in the hobby and are a bit nervous about tarantulas and spiders like I was and I had to grow with my confidence and grow my confidence up when caring for them then you're gonna have to remember that these are the third largest tarantulas and they do grow at a whopping size of 9 to 11 inches yes big tarantula <laughs> so please take that in consideration but other than that they are fast growers if you're impatient <laughs> and they have an amazing and I mean amazing feed and response I love watching them eat they are absolutely nuts but they definitely are a good beginner species just remember they are big at number four we have the Cairo Cosmos Elegance now please remember these are a dwarf species so that means they only grow up to five centimeters very small tarantula when you purchase them, they're most likely going to be slings and they are tiny. At 0.5 centimetres, I got my sling, my, my elegance, 0.5. So it just looks like a speck of dust. So if you are going to get the elegance, the best feeding that you can feed the elegance is bean weevils or micro worms now I prefer the bean weevils for the simple fact is if they are going in molt if they flip on their back and they do decide to molt the bean weevils do not actually harm them but the micro worms will now I do tend to give them, when they get bigger in size, I do tend to give them the micro worms. So, but just make sure that they eat them. If they don't, just take it out so they doesn't harm, it doesn't harm the uh, elegance. But you can see that this is very stunning tarantula. And if you want further information, check out my Valentine special which is all about this little fella right here. In third place, we have my favorite genus, the Gramostola rosea. Now this was nearly my first choice, but the Versicolor won me over. <laughs> it won me over. Now this is a very, very slow grower. It's a hardy tarantula, which means it's very easy to keep. They do like a dry enclosure and they love digging around, which I find my male here loves to dig. <laughs> it likes to move his water dish around. They are funny to watch. They've got peculiar uh, personalities. They are do docile, excuse me. Um, but I have known that some say that there's a little bit crazy that their ram rosé is a little bit crazy but in my experience i find them more docile and i haven't come across one that's like that yet just very naughty and likes to move their uh, water dish around the uh, enclosure 
which I find very comical. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, stunning, beautiful, reddish, pinkish hairs. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it very well in the camera, but I love them. I think they're quite expensive and they're quite rare in the hobby. They're about 20, 25 pounds for a sling. That's what I've seen them at. You might get them cheaper, but that is what I've seen so far. But you've got to have one in the hobby. I love these. Love them to bits. So at number two, we have, you ready for this? <laughs> the Talitha Cattle Alba, Alba, <sighs> Talitha Cattle Albolosis, Albolosis. I'm so sorry. Niguanum. So sorry. Niguanum. Right. This is that. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue tie for me. I apologise. Now these are slow growers, and like the uh, Gramostola rosea, they can actually be in pre-molt for nearly a year. In my experience, that is what I have seen in my experience yes nearly a year how crazy is that we do have the handorum which i will show you in the picture you can see the difference between the two this one's black with a bit of white hairs and the handorum has got more brownish reddish hairs there so yes slow growers again docile and really easy to keep absolutely definitely have it they're very underrated as well but in first place we have got now known as the most attractive ones i think well i say the second attractive one because is the brachypal mahomori this is one of the people's favourites, actually. It's very, very popular, and I can see why. Look at the stunning oranges on the legs. Just like the, the rosea and the albopelosis, they are pretty much the same. Slow growers, hardy tarantulas, really easy to keep. They all like it dry enclosures, and they when they're in primo, it can be up to a year. Docile, but like I said, I have heard from other keepers that theirs tend to be crazy. So, yeah. I mean, you have to take into consideration tarantulas pick up different, you know, personalities. They have their own little quirks, should I say. But I have never had a problem with any of my tranches which are dull so unless they're attacking the water and that's how far they they do they like to attack the water but this is definitely a top so that was my top five beginners terrestrial tranches comment down below and let me know what you guys think and remember if you are thinking about having a tarantula as a pet for the first time, please make sure you do your research. Ask other keepers some questions. We are out there and we are willing to help you guys. Also, it will make you such a better keeper. It will also keep you safe, the tarantula safe, and you will have a very healthy tarantula as well. But this is the end of my video. My name is Annie and you have been watching Annie's Arachnids. See you in the next one.